Hello, ladies and gents. We, we are, Welcome uh, back to Metro Red Plants. Hey, we're, we're, we're graced by a resurrected Louis Armstrong here. So, uh, how's death going, Louis Armstrong? I'm alone! Really? So I'm so very alone! So you're not with any of anybody else that, you know, you died with? Maybe your, you know, your wife, or... Frank Sinatra locked me in a cage! Wow, really? Why? <laughs> Doesn't want any competition past the grave! Oh, shit, I didn't <laughs> think there was that much competition in the afterlife. Have you gotten any good gigs anything lately? Solitary confinement has driven me insane. <laughs> Mr. Armstrong, maybe you should, uh, maybe you should uh, take a vacation. So what do you think of the, uh, of the, uh, of the 21st century there, um, Louis Armstrong? I don't know why there's an octopus up there. Yeah, this is what we call a video game. Especially when he has lava made hair. It's. It's a place of imaginary there, Mr. Armstrong. Why would I have a skid out? I... But I have a skid out. I didn't catch but that. But I have a skid out. I didn't catch that, Mr. Armstrong. But I have a skid out. Oh, God. It's just getting progressively <laughs> worse. <laughs> but I have a skid out. But I have a skid out. But my scab of dough, I died low. So, yes, this is a this is what we call um, a video game, Mr. Armstrong. It's, and where is the snail that smells me new clothes? Uh, I'm... Uh, you know about this game, Mr. Armstrong? Scabbity, scabbity, bow. I take that as a yes. Scabbity, bop, 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 scabbity, bop, 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 scabbity, bop. You're very talented there, Mr. Armstrong. Um, so, uh... I found my trumpet. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a very nice trumpet playing. Anyways, Mr. Armstrong, Mr. Armstrong, uh, I have a few questions to ask you. Um, what's death like? The very big beaver it can't be. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> do you see, like, a white light at the end of the tunnel, or...? Mr. Ar <laughs> <laughs> truly, truly a genius, everybody. <laughs> what the fuck? This is the first episode of this recording session! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> you okay there, Derson? You seem a little a little loopy today. It came out of nowhere, man. Yes, out of the hole. Holy fuck! That is that it and its brothers are coming out of. It came out of certainly nowhere. <laughs> that chick's getting busy if it and its brothers are both coming out of the hole. Oh shit! Woo! Oh, scoop it up and up and up and up and step back! <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is. <laughs> oh my god, I'm losing my fucking mind. This has been the ghost of Louis Armstrong, inspired by the ghost of Duke Ellington. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. He'll be returning back to his grave now. Now he won't! <laughs> I'm here forever! Cause I died alone. Cause I died alone. Hear me, me! Skip it and bow! So, uh... They took the legs from some old table. They I'll took the your legs from they, some old chair. They took your legs... I'll take the neck from some old bottle. <laughs> and from a horse. I'll take the hair. I'll take the hands and face from off the clock. You sound like you're constructing and baby, something. baby, when I'm through, I get more loving from the dumb, dumb, dummy than I ever got from you. Wow, that's that's very interesting. It's an actual song. Really? Yes. <laughs> wow, in here it's I've... called the dummy song. The dummy song. Yes, I'm not. That's not a joke. This is 100. That's a real song called the dummy song by Louis by Armstrong. By Louis Armstrong. Mm -hmm. Shit, that's uh, in here. I thought you were just making shit up. Nope. He lists all of these things. I'm like I take the legs from some old table. <laughs> He's just like. And then it's like, I'll make love to the dummy that I made out of these random objects because you don't love me. That's a little disturbing, but understandable. But I want you to think about that dummy for a second. It has the legs of a table. Yep. The arms of a chair. Weird. The hair of a horse. I mean, that's The hands and face of a clock. 
Uh, how the fuck do you make love to the thing? <laughs> it's just like, hey, why do we have these words? Why do we have these words for all these things? Your guess is as good as mine that there. should I'm sure pretty much probably be named different things than human anatomy. Well, I mean, the neck of you, you, the neck of a bottle. The neck of summer bottle. Well, why do they call it a cap if a cap is also a hat? And from a horse, I'll take the hair. Well, because a, a horse has hair. I scalped the horse for you, baby. You, you and you still what? don't love me. Why, why did you go and scalp a whole horse? Because from the horse, I'll take the hair. But you didn't need to scalp the horse. You could have just cut the hair. Poor horse! I'll take the hands of this! I'll take the soul from a shoe! I'll take the soul from some old shoe! Oh god. Oh. Oh my god, it's been a long time. And that old Jewish footmaker <laughs> will give me more of it than I ever got from you! Oh, uh, can you. You can't survive in that. Oh, that's cool. Wait, that does not make do sense because why? You know what? Because <laughs> lava does not work like that. It works fine. It works fine. Listen, we got a moon. If we're okay with Louis Armstrong scalping a horse, yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> we can true. be okay with this. Are we on one player mode? I'm just asking because I. What, no, we're not. No, you don't need to. I'm not gonna play the fucking game. <laughs> Shit. We're in two-player mode now. Yay. You don't have to do anything, I'm, but I'm you have just... the option to now. Mm. Mm. Oh, I move slow because I'm in water. Can I just jump infinitely if you do that? Try it. No. No, well, you can do it twice. Just twice? Like, that'd be like, really cool if you could just, like, infinitely uh, stop, because I need to. <laughs> I mean, you wanted to play tube in the player mode. Why are you doing this? It's two player mode. I didn't make you touch the controller, I just turned it on. Stop! <laughs> Yay, she's f fucking beautiful. We're gonna be on vacation now. We're gonna be on vacation. And we're gonna find 45 more coins before we leave this place. Why specifically 45? So that I can buy those. Well, we need 35, technically. Oh. So I can buy those. Because I have a joke. <laughs> but I need those. Well, shit. Okay. <laughs> well, folks, get ready for however long it takes them to get 45 more well, coins. We're, not gonna, we're Just definitely not gonna do it all in this episode, but we're not leaving this world until I get 45, until I get 35 more coins. Just for him to set up a joke. Yep. That is what's happening. Uh, can I just... So, Mr. Armstrong, uh, yes. uh, what have you... Colin Glendon! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Armstrong. So, what have you been up to since you've been dead? I've been locked in a cage! It's... Oh, that's By right. my old friend, Frank! And he said I deserved it, man! Have you tried talking to Frank? Maybe, you know... He's an anti-semi-racist bitch! I mean, that that's pretty obvious, but... I mean, I would figure that in death that maybe he would... You know... Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, but you're... But... Mr. Armstrong, you Forgive me if I'm wrong, but you're a ghost. How can you be locked in a cage? Can't you just go through the bars? It's a spectral prison like from Ghostbusters! Ah, uh, I got Ah, fuck! So, um... That was, that was there. That speaking of Ghostbusters, have you met any of the Ghostbusters? Well, most of them are alive, but Dan Aykroyd! Dan Aykroyd's... Dan Aykroyd's still alive. Pretty sure he's dead. Are you sure about that? Look it up. Um, or is it Sam Ra It's someone. One of them's dead. It's the- there was the nerdy guy. It's the one with the glasses, never mind. Yep. Dan Aykroyd's alive. I was gonna say, Dan Aykroyd's very much alive! I thought he was dead. Nope, he's not! Uh, let's see... I knew one of them was dead, I couldn't remember which one. Yeah. I, don't, I haven't seen Dan Aykroyd, any news about him at all, so... I figured um, it was Dan Aykroyd. Ghost... <laughs> it's one word. Busters... 
Um, let's see. That's giving me the new one. I need the original one. 1984. Cast. The Biscuit Yeah. Why? It was Harold, uh, Harold, Harold Remus. Remus. That's his name. Yep. He is the one that died. Wait, no, it wasn't Harold Remus. Remus? It's not as, that's not the one who died. He's not a Ghostbuster. Harold Remus played the Key Master. Aegon Spangler? Egon. He's not dead. Here, wait. Give me this. Yeah. Who the fuck am I thinking of then? Why are you texting her? <laughs> she texted me. I'm sorry. Rick Moranis. I'm sorry. They sound so similar. Oh, yeah. Rick, Rick Moranis, Moranis is, is dead. dead. No, Rick Moranis? I'm fairly certain Rick Moranis is alive. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't keep track of these people. Yeah, this guy also died too. Fucking, he died February 4th. Rick Moranis? 24th. Well, the other guy, Harold Remus. Harold Remus, yeah. Uh, Rick Moranis died recently. He well, did? Re relatively, yeah. He when? did. Um, Tell me. Tell me now. It actually doesn't have his death date on this. It's because he's not dead. Rick Moranis is alive, Colin. Is he alive? Yes, I'm fairly certain Are of that you fact. Sure about that. I'm not 100% positive on that, but I'm fairly certain that Rick Moranis is alive. Hmm. Slatvia Jovan was Gozer. Tell us in the comments below if Rick Moranis is alive. Obviously, he's alive because I'm pretty sure he would have his death date on this. Well, yeah, I. I'm the one who said he's alive. I'm just asking the comments to confirm for us. So that way we don't have to spend the whole episode on our fucking phones looking up Rick Moranis. Ah! Man, let's see. What was Rick ah! Moranis in? He was in Ghostbusters, Honey, I Shrunk the Kid, Little Shop of Horrors, Spaceballs. Bop, the bop. second Ghostbusters. <laughs> in a, a strange brew. Never saw that one. Um... Really? What? How precise is this shit? There we go. Uh, very precise. It's a Nintendo game, I guess. I mean, I don't know. It could be Capcom. Ah, the Let's go! Would it, like, what, imagine if, you know, favorite, like, like, big game, like, mascots were designed by, or, like, made by other people. Like, what if Mario was made by Capcom? What would that look like? He'd be all buff. <laughs> he'd, he'd be basically Chris Redfield with a, um, with a mustache. I like how you went there. I was going Street Fighter, but really he'd probably look the same because Mega Man. That's true. That's <laughs> true. Well, I went, oh, not exactly the same, but similar, yeah. It would be a little more anime-esque. Um, okay, what about, uh, what if, let's see, what if Sonic was made by Nintendo? Well, then his games would be good. <laughs> Ooh, six Sonic Burn that no one ever achieved. He'd probably look the same, yeah. but his games would be better. Okay, what if... What if Mega Man was done by uh, Konami? I don't know. What's a Konami game? He'd uh, look the same, too. Bomberman. Bomberman. He'd look the fucking same. Well, you also have Silent Hill that was made by Konami. Yeah, but they That's also it. made Bomberman, so they know how to do cartoony shit. Well, okay, fine. He might look more like Bomberman. Um, what if, what if Olimar was made by SNK? Uh, Neo then he'd Geo. be a sexy woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, true. Um, okay. What if Bowser? Bowser was made by um, Naughty Dog. I don't know. It'd probably look a lot more realistic, maybe. No, because they made Jack and Daxter. Daxter and Ratchet he'd look and the Clank. same then. <laughs> he'd be skinnier. I think he'd look a little more dragony. I disagree. You think? I well, think this is a moot point regardless. Why did I do that? Oh, okay. What if... What if... Um, Well, God, what, what's the company that did uh, Dead or Alive? Was that Ninja? What was it? I, think, I don't know. What if? Okay, what if uh, Mario was made by the people that did Dead or Alive? Well, then he <laughs> would be a lot sexier too. <laughs> He'd have a giant pair of floppy, floppy tits. Um, what if? Uh, 
What if Shadow of the Colossus was made by Nintendo? What would that be like? It'd probably look like a lot like or play a lot like a uh, Legend of Zelda. Mhm. Mm oh, they drowned. Yes, they did. That's 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 sad. Yeah, you did it. Um. All right, well, we're going to come back to this later. Yeah. Uh, bye. We're, we'll see you later. We love you guys. Bye, bye, bye. Comment down if uh, your favorite, you know, if, if one thing. Comment down made... with your favorite ghost uh, Louis, Louis Armstrong song. Yeah. Bye. we all know that. And the ghost Louis Armstrong songs. I'm dead. <laughs> Could you please go out with me? No, that's okay. No, I don't think so. Guess I'll you go can't. home and cry into the TV dinner yeah. that I have made for myself. Oh, I'm alone. <laughs> so I'm very alone. Nobody loves me because I'm dead. Because you're what? Babbity bass, gabbity. <laughs> Nobody loves me because I'm dabbity be bam, loo dabba doo doo. Babbity babbity boo. Babbity doo. I'm sadly to do the mitchick a boo. Babbity babbity boo. Put them together and what have you got? Get. You've got yourself a nice beef stew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was fucking good. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know, I went down to the supermarket, couldn't find any salad canoe. <laughs> I had Mitch Gabula out the wazoo. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>